When you think about growing up playing baseball, playing catch in the backyard with your brother or your friends or whatever it is, you always think about Game 7 of the World Series. You think about Albert Pujols or Carlos Beltran or someone like that in a big spot, and you close it and, you know, and the crowd goes wild. And uh, I get to do that. In 2005, I go out and I have a pretty good season, and I get called up to the big leagues at the end of the year. My first inning, I go out and I give up a three-run bomb and uh, walk a guy and just really looked you know, deflated on the mound, and so I didn't pitch again for like three weeks, and I had no chance to get in any kind of game that was meaningful, which meant I wasn't going to make the postseason roster. The last day of the season, all the people who were going to be on the playoff roster, had their bags packed and their suits on, and Tony had talked to them about what the trip's going to be like, hey, we're going to Houston, this and that, but he didn't talk to me. And it turns out that day I was the only player on the whole team that was asked to leave. I went home, and uh, the team is still playing in Houston. Albert Pujols hits this awesome home run off Brad Lidge. It's like the most dramatic thing ever. They're all going crazy, and I'm on the couch. So I turn the TV off, I go outside, and it was revealed to me right there that I needed to make a change. It was also revealed to me right there the only way for me to make a change was to finally put my trust in God and allow Him to take the reins of my life and empower me to do great things. Tony, the year before, says, you don't have what it takes, go home. He looks at me in the face and goes, you, you made the team, man. I got, I got, you're going north of us. You're going to St. Louis. I don't know how you did it. I get put into the starting rotation in 07. 08 kind of continued that process in 09 really started to come of age in 2010 now I'm in the prime of my career I really feel like when I step on the mound teams really know they got to work to beat me. start my throwing program everything's going great I'm working out I feel like I'm in the best shape of my life my very first bullpen session in, San, in, in spring training my elbow goes I came inside to the clubhouse and I knew exactly what had happened. I felt the flesh literally tearing inside my arm. I went home, I got out of the car and I couldn't move my elbow past about 50%. And so I went into my wife and I said, Jenny, I've torn my elbow. I'm gonna miss this season. And she goes, really, why do you think that? And I showed her my arm and I told her the story and she goes, man, okay. And I was like, all right, that's not really the reaction I was looking for. All right, so I, then I left the room, and I just thought, maybe, God, you know what? I'm going to take a nap. If there's any way you could just completely heal me in the next hour, that would be great, and then I could just get back to my everyday life. It would be perfect. Thank you very much. And I wake up, and it's worse. I look at my wife, and I go, Jenny, I don't, I don't think you understand. I'm going to miss a whole year of baseball. And she's like, yeah, you know, I mean, you told me that before, so... And then she kind of comes over and she gives me a hug and she's like, am I not being there enough for you right now? Do I need to give you some more support? And she gives me a hug and she goes, I want you to know that to me you're not a baseball player, you're my husband. Over the next couple hours, I found incredible relief in that. Just knowing that what I was to my wife and what I was to my kids was not a baseball player. I was a husband and a father. What they saw in me was much more than a game. And I can tell you that there's absolutely no chance that I feel that way at all without the presence of Jesus Christ in my life. He filled me up, and in my biggest time of weakness, Jesus grabbed me, lifted me up, and told me I was going to be perfectly fine. I get to be the keynote speaker at Christian Day at the ballpark. I get to go to church on Sundays. My two-year-old daughter used to hate my guts. Me and her really bonded this year. I get some awesome time with my wife. If I played my whole career just so I could get hurt and get to share these moments with people, then it was worth it. He's made it so that this has all been worth it. He's made it so that this wasn't a bad thing. It was actually a very, very good thing. Probably the best year of my career. He's why I want to keep on talking and sharing about him. I mean, he is. He's God.